What's up, Calc gang? All right, we got a physics problem. Hey, I'm back also after a nice break. But uh, okay, we got a nice problem here. Okay, so this is a picture frame, not an elevator. I'm just realizing. Okay, so it's hung by these two strings that are at the equal angle from the vertical, and it's asking um, how what does that angle have to be for the gravity down, the force pushing down around the frame, to be equal to 0.75 the tension in each one of the ropes. So let's go ahead and figure that out. All right. So. What do we need to do? Well, we need to make a force body diagram. How about that? I like doing this. Okay, so here's your picture frame. Here is force of gravity. And then you have your tension here, right? So this is force tension, and this is force tension. And if they're both gonna be at the same angle here, basically, this is theta, this is theta, they're gonna be the same tension, right? So you can say that they're equal. Um, and basically, what we want is that you look at each, this, this force tension here, it's kind of like a triangle like this, right? This is our theta, and this is force tension. So if you look at just the y component of it, what we, but it's basically asking is, because it's still, it's acceleration zero, so the force of gravity pushing down is equal to the force of the y component of these two tensions added together, holding it upward, right? And if we want to find this, what we do is, because this is the hypotenuse, you can see that the, um, you can say cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent here, which we're going to call force of y, divided by force of tension, right? This is uh, our little angle thing. And we also know that uh, force of tension is equal to 0 0.75, the force of gravity. Okay, so uh, basically, once you write down everything you know and everything you can figure out, I just like to try to figure something out. So we know this, uh, the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. I already said the acceleration is zero, it's a constant. So the sum of the forces is equal to zero. And let's see, look, let's look at all our forces acting. So we have force of gravity, but then it's also gonna be, because force of gravity is pulling down, the other forces are gonna be pulling in the opposite direction. So we can say minus, uh, so, it's, so this is gonna be f of y, right? And then we also have our other f of i. But we know that it's actually 0 0.5 times f of y. Actually, no, never mind. Okay, force y minus force y is equal to zero, right? All right, we figured this much out. Now we need to find out what force of y is. So we go back to here. Force of y is equal to multiply force of tension over, so force of tension cosine of theta. But we know that force of tension is 0 0.575 force of gravity. So force of y is equal to 0 0.75 force of gravity, cosine of theta. All right, now we go ahead and uh, plug this all in. So force of gravity minus force of y, so this is 0 0.75 force of gravity, cosine of theta, minus 0 0.75 force of gravity, cosine of theta, is equal to zero. And you'll notice here that we have force of gravity in each one of these, so you can actually factor it out. Watch this, you can go force of gravity, and it'll be one minus 0 0.75, and then um, cosine of theta. But then you're gonna be doing that again. It's just subtracting 0 0.75 by 0 0.75. So that should be 1.75, or 1.5 cosine of theta is equal to zero. We can divide both sides by force of gravity, and it'll just leave us with one minus 1.5 cosine of theta is equal to zero. Uh-huh, we're on the path, right? All we have is left is some theta and some numbers, so we can figure it out from here. Let me go ahead and erase some of this and just work that out up here. Okay, so then it's gonna be, you can just say one is equal to 1.5 cosine of theta, divided by 1.5, one divided by 1.5 is equal to cosine of theta. Theta is equal to cos inverse cosine of one over 1.5. Plug that into your calculator and you are going to get 48 degrees. There's your number right there. All right. Yeah, so that's how you solve these problems. With these general solutions, like when you don't have any numbers or anything in them, basically you just want to figure out, like what I did earlier, uh, like what you, can, what, you know, what you can manipulate to get rid of things. And for us, it was the force of gravity. You had it in every one. You could just factor it out. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem. Good luck on your physics homework, guys.